In this video, I'm going to be taking you inside my head and showing you why I do what I do in a live weekend league gameplay. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player they can become. And if you want to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you right now to click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to, up to date with the latest tips and strategies I share on YouTube every single day. Every day I do videos that help you get better on offense and on defense as well as these game plays. All right, guys, so in this video, uh, we're running the Trips tight end offense. We're actually running the New England. We actually switched over to the New England playbook um, specifically for that specific run right there um, and didn't get off to a great start. But anyway, uh, I've actually gone ahead and done what I said I was going to do um, with Brett Favre. I have shifted back to him. I was using the RG3. I was using a, uh, a Washington football team theme team. Uh, I am still running... Um, a Washington football theme team, but I just got so frustrated um, with not being able to make throws that I normally am used to being able to make with Brett Favre. And I'm a pocket passer. That's what I want to do. I want to step up in the pocket. That's all I want to do. I don't really need to scramble. Like that's just not what I. That's not how I play the game. Um, and so we're gonna shift to this and kind of see how it goes. So. Uh, anyways, here we go uh, on this next setup. This is one of my, the biggest reasons why I got Brett Favre was m literally for this one uh, one play right here. Um, and you'll see here. Now here, see how he can still scramble out of the pocket and throw it away if he needs to. Now I actually went a little bit crazy with Brett Favre. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go for this. I'm not too worried about it. I mean, if we don't get it, it's, I guess it's the end of the day. But um, it is what it is. So um, the other thing that I wanted to talk briefly, just, just for a moment about here, is I actually really like this Brett Favre's ability to, I put conduct, or not conductor on him, but um, quick draw on him, because I've just been getting a lot of like bad throwing animations, and the sheds are just like wicked lately. Uh, so right there, nice defense by him. He's going to get his stop. We have to throw that, right? I mean, we either roll out, pressure was bearing down on us. And um, in my opinion, I just feel like, you know, you've got to have a good quarterback. I've actually thought about shifting to putting all of my ability points on the offensive line because um, these sheds that I've been having so far this weekend league have been absolutely insane. Uh, I've lost multiple games just because of uh, disconnects, obviously, but also uh, I've lost a couple games due to the throw out of sacks and you know, just not something that I'm looking to, to have to deal with on a regular basis. Obviously, you're going to have to deal with it some, but there are ways to help it, uh, and that's what I'm trying to do. All right, so right here, it looks like my opponent's going to be running with Gun Bunch. Uh, I'm going to just quickly pause the game, and like I always do here, on defense, I'm running the 3-3-5 wide. If you want to get the exact offense and defense I'm using, uh, I have guys on both of those in the description that literally walk you through step-by-step -step how, to, how to execute uh, those ebooks. So if you want to get that, that's available uh, for you in the description. A little inside zone run here. I'm kind of doing some different things defensively. A little bit. It's it's mainly around who I'm using. Uh, I'm actually running a lot more nickel normal. I really like this nickel normal. Um, I think it's super super underrated. But uh, anyway, okay. So it looks like he's gonna come back out and go bunch. We'll see. All right. And we're going to run with our quarter scheme. Um, a lot of people have actually shifted to this Tannehill. I've heard I've heard good things about him, that he's got a better throwing release and things like that. But I just feel like Brett Favre's the best you can get. So I'm going to go with Brett Favre. I just, I just can't uh, continue to, to not use, you know, what I know is going to work. So, so anyways, um, all right. So still going to sit in this quarters defense just going to try to get a feel for kind of what the route combos are that he's going to use to beat it and then from there we'll kind of adjust so we'll see what he does a little crosser that's us and that's all that's that's another reason why i'm thinking of shifting my defense abilities i have uh zone knockout abilities on all of my defenders and they just don't really work right so i'm thinking about shifting back to acrobat or just something um or putting all of my ability points on the defensive line um and that's pretty good defense. Nice pick. That's that, see, that's an interception. I, I feel like I need to get that pick right there. And that's why I run quarters. It's one of the main reasons. Is it, it does, um, it does help a lot with the playmaker. I don't just run quarters. I run some other stuff as well. I run traditional zone drops, but this is what I really like. Um, here, a little tight end crosser. 
throw another. I mean, see how see how tight that is. Like, if if he's gonna fit that in all game, like so be it. You know, but I feel like we're gonna get a couple of those interceptions. Now, right here, we'll see if he flips his bunch. He probably should, um, unless he's gonna motion over. Here. And I don't know how. Hmm, I guess he did fumble. So one of the things I've been kind of doing a little bit is um, testing out some cover three as well. Uh, with the I have I had a friend of mine, actually Darren from the channel, who ran cover three match on me back when I was running like gun gun spread, and it was a nightmare to have to have to go against. Right here, you got to think inside zone. We're going to spy because of the rollout here. We're going to spy and pass commit. I think it just helps it a little bit. There we go. That's good. That's pretty good defense right there. That's pretty good bunch tight end defense, actually. Bunch tight end is super hard to guard. Um, I, I think bunch... I have, a, I have a guide on that as well. Um, I'm kind of been just honestly messing around with the trip tight end. It's not my primary offense. The number one offense I run is bunch and bunch tight end. Um, primarily bunched tight end, honestly, but, but, um, I, I did dive, I have diving, you know, I am diving deep into the trip side in just because I also really like spread. Like I just can't get over the fact of the, the spacing of trips tight in. I like it because it forces your user, you know, to, I mean, if they're going to try to use her the middle of the field, you can attack just every area of the field with that. Um, you can do that with the other ones as well. Um, but not as good. All right, right here, we're going to go quarters again. Um, I'm going to put the spy out there. just so, And this is actually a good decision. He's going to create quads, which is actually a pretty smart decision. But that's really the biggest thing. <sighs> Dang it. I don't know why my three rec. I've got I've, <sighs> I've to figure out how to keep my three rec in the middle of the field on that. That's actually a good play by him. That's hap That happened to me in the last weekend lean game I won. Um... He was running bunch tight end. He rolled out, but he puts it some, some because of the rollout. He's able to pull the three rec all the way outside, and then the three rec doesn't do what I want it to do as far as stopping that. So uh, right here, he's gonna play with fire a little bit. Um, he's just gonna come out in straight goal line. So we're gonna come out in straight goal line, and um, just kind of see here if we can stop him. Think maybe he was just test us he should take his three here i mean he's going to be able to get up one by, by one possession he actually is in a good position i mean either decision is probably not the wrong decision um it just depends on how confident he is in his red zone offense so i mean because because you could say well he because this guy gets balled half which is huge for him um you know so he just really needs to make sure that he scores here in my opinion but i mean i guess you i guess you don't have to make sure that we'll see all right. Let's see if he runs power up. Pick. Yes, good defense. All right. I kind of thought he might do that. That's why I actually pass committed on that play. Um, I kind of thought that he might do that just because of the... Yeah, I just I just thought he'd do that and... And it guessed right, so. All right, let's see if we can get quick base going here. And we're not able to do that at all. Wow, Kyle Duggar just coming right through the... That's annoying. That's just Mike Blitzo? And he just can't... See, the thing with quick base, the only frustrating part about it is, like, occasionally it just gets stopped. Like, normally it's a really good, normally it's a really good, really consistent run. I guess it's because he's man aligning here. But let's do... That little cut right there. That's probably what I should have done. But uh, quick base will occasionally just like get randomly blown up. And it's, but normally it's pretty consistent. But I honestly just started running this for about like two days. Um, so I don't have a ton of reps with it. The other thing, real quick, about trip side in is you can pretty much always tell. Um, if they're in man or if they're in zone coverage uh, based off where their corners are. I mean, it just gives you at least a, a, a – you have a pretty good chance at guessing right. Like, I know right there. I knew right there he was in zone. And Brett Favre was going to 
I, I, that's on me. I mean, I had the dot and I accidentally touched past it. <sighs> All right, so second and ten. So, so if they're not running like a man line defense where they're giving you the same look every time, like right here, it's pretty obvious um, that he's in. He is in um, man coverage. If you look at the the way it's just lined up here. So we should be able to hit this tight end over the top. And that's why I like Brett Favre. He just makes the perfect throws. Um, you know, and, and again, it's just a, it's a, it's a very, it's a very little, but at the same time, massive difference between uh, Favre and RG3 or Favre and anyone else, really. Um, Rodgers is the closest. I, some people say Rodgers has a better throwing animation. I prefer, I, I, from what I've seen, Brett Favre does. Um, but what I also have on him is I have quick draw. So, the thinking there is that I can get the ball out. You know, again, I just want to stand in the pocket and pass. I also put set feet lead on him just for the stack of that. If you don't know, um, you can actually stack set feet lead and gunslinger. So, I mean, I spent a massive amount of cap on him. Um, and what I'm thinking is I might actually shift. Uh, I'm not sure what to put on my offensive line yet, but I'm actually thinking of running five offensive line abilities and just using the short, uh, short inability on George Kittle and just rolling with that because um, I just I just I want to stand in the pocket and make reads that's what that's how I like to play um, and so that's one way that I can accomplish that all right right here little motion slant go get him uh, I need to help it to make a play and he did nice job he picked the wrong guy to throw to nice job I guess he thought he had a step and I fumbled it are you freaking serious you're gonna get a touchdown this is how I lost yesterday. Literally, this right here is how I lost. And, of course, we're all fatigued, so we can't tackle them. That's exactly how I lost most of my games yesterday in Weekend League. Absolutely ridiculousness. Stuff like that is, like, crazy. I get the pick. I guess it's on me for not going down. But just ridiculous. Some, sometimes this game just does that. you got to be able to bounce back. So, man, we should be up 10 to nothing. And now we're in seven to seven dogfight. He's going to get the ball coming out of halftime. So I got to clutch up here uh, and go down and score. It's a big possession. I've got to clear my mind a little bit, let that go, um, and just get back on the sticks and and keep working, keep working, keep working. I'm telling you right now, you 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 always have to keep working, right? Just keep keep grinding, keep working at it, and uh, keep punching away here. So um, to get us started here, I'm going to go back to quick base. You see the audibling here, so that tells me he audibled from man to zone, and that's what we're looking for right there. That's the lane, and I guess if they man align, probably need to do is just motion over. I guess that's the adjustment. We're probably going to run it one more time and then just call a timeout and kind of see where we're at. Um, yeah, we're going to run it one more time. So you see here the corner shifted back, so we should this should be open for us. All right, and we'll just call a timeout right there. And we'll kind of figure out what is our passing strategy going to be here. This is the New England version of X-Spot. I actually think it works maybe even a little bit better because this post is a little bit more shallow. And that's I threw a high point on that on purpose in case he was able to get back on that I could just aggressive catch it and maybe catch it maybe drop it and sure enough I get uh, just frustrated all right let's go back to this let's go back to this defense I feel like this has been our best defense so far We'll see. We'll angle around. Oh gosh, good crosser. He had a touchdown, and I ran Clowney out of the play. Oh, that was bad, bad, bad all over the place. Oh, I, was, I don't know why I was looking at the running back so much. All right, I think this is going to be. We'll see how this works. This little move right here is actually interesting. I've been noticing a lot of people do this. And just tackle him. Okay. So now we got him down in this situation here. Ideally, we hold him to three. Um, we're kind of in a, a little bit of a bad spot. Cool. 
Watch the corner. That's a pick. That's a pick. Thank you. Go Clowney. All right, we need Clowney to score here. This is huge. We really need Clowney to score, and he's going to run out of freaking anima. Stamina. Gosh dang it, man. All right, there. I was thinking about pitching the ball back to the corner, and I just I, I ended up sticking with Clowney. Probably, I don't know. It is what it is. So we've got two timeouts. We've actually got a decent chance here. We need to score. We just, no turnovers, please. <laughs> no turnovers, please. Quick base. Kind of see how he handles that. Because we have two timeouts here, so. We should be okay. We only, <sighs> trying to think. If we, pa if we pass here, it's probably the right decision. Um, which raises the question, what passing play do you call here? And I really like this. Um, actually, really like this route. Okay, so with the running back, we're going to put him on an angle route. We're just going to do this. Let's see how we do. And he goes zone. Throw it away. Um, I probably could have. Man, I've only completed two passes. That's crazy. Um. I could have right there tried to throw the corner route, but I just didn't like the look. So we're going to try quick base one more time. Oh, I had it too, and I just had bad stick work. Time out, time out, time out. I actually got closer than I thought it would. I thought I'd have an extra second, but. All right, well, all right. So we get three. Not bad. Um, pretty crazy first half. <laughs> pretty crazy first half. So we got to gather ourselves a little bit, kind of get composed, and come out and get a stop. You know, you got to take that breath. One of the things you have to do if you're going to be good at Madden, for if you're going to play Madden in a serious way, um, you have to. I mean, you have to do this. You, 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 you cannot like outpace yourself. You have to pace yourself a little bit. You have to kind of gather yourself, get your bearings, so you don't make stupid decisions. Because if you just kind of get on autopilot and start just running and running and running and running and running, what's going to happen is you're going to get, I mean, it's very likely that you're going to put yourself in a bad position. Now, on the flip side, most people will actually do that. And so that's where I say you need to simplify what you're doing. Um, you know, you need to kind of prepare for that. So anyway, right here, let's see if we can get this. we got some contains out there. we got a spy. we got a three wreck. Completely taking that away. He's going up top. And that's a decent swat. And I got it. That's actually a decent click on right there. So what I did, um, what I did was I felt like he had me beat. I felt like he had a step. So I swatted the ball. And then when it kind of did that little flutter thing that it does sometimes randomly, I just hit triangle, was able to get the pick. So, you know, that's just something you don't want to just like, you know, just rapidly jam the button, um, it's more of a ball hawk type of thing. So anyway, we're able to make a play, and that's a huge turnover in this game. That's actually really, really big. And uh, now this is where, you know, again, I talk about it. I just talked about it a second ago. You have to kind of breathe a little bit, take a breath. You know, the game has been high um, turnover rate, high, you know, stakes and stuff like that. You know, so we just have to, you know, kind of do stuff like this right here. That's exactly what we need to do. And that's exactly why we grabbed New England, was so that we could go to this run in these situations. Um, because right here, you know, we just need a drive. We need to put a drive together. Um, that's really what we're trying to do. Good defense by my opponent. I probably should have tried to take that outside. And we're actually going to run it again just to make sure that, you know, he, we don't catch him kind of sleep in here. We're actually going to try to get outside here. And that's... Mm, I feel like I should have got outside on that. I felt like the guard didn't pick him up. But I guess he did shift to big nickel, so good job by him. All right, now the only problem is we're in now is my kicker is not a 99 because I don't have enough coins to get him yet. Um, so I'm actually a little nervous because I need to get to, like, the 33-yard line to kick a field goal. Okay, um, this is where I like PA shot wheel, actually. And we're going to run this kind of similar to PA boot over. Just take our drag, and we got up to about the 30. Now, what we're going to do right here is we're actually going to go for this. Um, the reason why, well, we're going to at least look at it. We're going to see what he does. Um, the reason why we might go for this here 
and he's a man. We're going to quick snap. We're going to quick snap. Quick snap curl flat here and try to hit this tight end. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. So you see he's in man. That's that man zone read. That's why I like trip side end because it's a very well-spaced formation and, and very nice. You see there we read the man coverage and we're able to hit that corner right over the top for a nice little dot. That's the We have the short in elite ability on George Kittle, which gives him better route running inside the numbers on those short cutting routes. When you smart route that corner route, it's in that short range. Um, and so there you see... You know, Brett Favre able to just make a quick play. And that's why I say we're going to at least take a look at it. If he is in man coverage, we know that that read's pretty consistent. Um, so we can just easily take that over the top if we see a man read like that. Um, and we did. We got it. We made the play. And now we've got to play some defense. So uh, at this point in the game, I'm actually going to shift to some zone drops. The, my, the number one reason why is because I think he's getting comfortable with the match defense. Um and I, I could stick with match a little bit, but I don't want to like, again, I just, I don't like sitting in it all game. I mean, I do like actually sitting in it all game, but you know, when I'm playing like a bunch guy or someone that I know, you know, has some good routes that he can work um, just kind of based off what he's running, then I like to kind of shift into this, um, this right here in this situation, just to kind of, again, just force him to force him to have to like work a little bit. Um, this is where I'm going to be able to, you're going to notice that my corners and safeties and stuff like that are going to start to activate. I actually have a really decent little, um, it's, it's similar to match defense, but it's, it's technically, um, zone drop defense, but it's similar to, to match defense. I'm actually going to shift to that on this next play. Probably if he comes out in bunch. And the reason I like it so much, um, is because it does really well against compression. So things like gun bunch, um, things like um, gun tight offset, you know, all of those kind of things. This defense does decent against that. So right there, he had to burn a timeout. Um, it's actually a big deal uh, in the second half whenever you burn a timeout. So anyway, right here, we should be in a pretty good position to take away pretty much everything. We'll see. A little motion slant right into a 10-yard zone. And I, I, I've got to live with that. Um, still on the same thing. And there we go. There we go. Good defense. So you're seeing one of the things I'm doing is I'm putting that quarterback spy out there um, just to kind of deter some of that underneath stuff, but also um, to kind of like, and here I'm not in a really good defense. I'm actually on bad defense here. Yeah, good, good read. But again, you're seeing that he's, he's because of how we're playing defense now, he's forced to really take his underneath. Um, you know, he's not going to not gonna be able to just like, you know, hit us over the top for a one-play touchdown more than likely with this defense. These little drags, these little quick routes. And what I'm, what I'm banking on is that my, my corners who or um, my linebackers, on my linebackers, I put mid-zone KO and flat-zone KO on them. You can do that for two AP if they're like a zone archetype. So what I'm kind of banking on is that um, they're going to start to go crazy here. I've got the spy. I've got the contain. And here, going here. Playmaker dot right into a guy. We need to pick that off. And that's, you know, that's exactly what we're talking about. So now we've got him in a third and 18. This one, th this defense is actually really good against bunch. Um, we talk about this in the defensive guide. I have several different defenses. Um, I don't think that you can be successful. This is just my opinion. Um, I don't think that uh, you can be 100% successful if you only run one defense. I think you have to have the ability to do different things. Uh, right here, rolling out of the pocket, we're going to send that spy. The reason I'm starting to actually really like the spies as opposed to the hook curls or the three racks, um, is, is, and he's going to go ahead and quit out, is because they, they just get better. They do better against rolling out. I face a lot of people that roll out. So, Anyways, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to be using Brett Favre, in my opinion. And um, if you want the exact offense and defense I use, they are in the description.